What's up, Trinset gang? Um, how y'all doing? I'm getting ready to do a nude. Uh oh, oh, I can't never get this right. A nude um eyeshadow, and I think I'm gonna do a red lip. I got some, you know, nude um lip gloss on, but that's just because my lips are ashy while I'm doing this video. So, yeah. Let's begin. So, um, the first thing I normally do is I do my foundation, but before I do that, let me, um, give me one second, trying to set again. I'm just putting the, I already had some foundation on from earlier today when I went to work, so I'm just going to touch it up, okay? That's that's all I'm going to do. And this is, um, this is matte poreless, ooh, it's, um, fit, fit 335 poreless. I'll show y'all the bottle in just a minute. And I like to, uh, I'm just, I'm doing a touch up, so that's why you see me using this stick. I like to use the stick. You know, in reality, you know, all these women be using brushes, and that's cool, and I'm not mad about it because I use brushes. But in real life, we use our hands. We use, I don't know, I, I, my best makeup applications came from my fingers. Or maybe from a utensil. Just, you know, I know black women, we come, we make up our own little stuff. You know what I'm saying? Even though I got a ton of brushes, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I just kind of be doing my own thing. And my makeup look the best when I use the most, the things that are like, not, that are very unusual. I get the most compliments. Trust it. I really do. Okay, so let me get my um, beauty blender. This is my beauty blender, y'all. Nah, nah. There you go. Uh, uh, And make sure you take the time to really blend your foundation. And ladies, I suggest you go to a counter and let, you know, let some women match your, your skin tone up. Or you can match your own skin tone up. Whatever you think your skin tone is. You know, some women like to buy and then try it on their skin. You can do that too. I mean, you can't take it back once you use it, but I'm just saying you got to start learning what your skin tone color is and just just blend until you can't blend no more. I feel like you can never get enough blending. That is the num that's one of the keys to to flawless makeup. You need to get that blend on. Get it in and on. Um, let me see. Get it in and get it on, baby. And I also like to use my stick when I'm scraping out the bottom. I use it some, you know, sometimes it ain't just when I'm scraping. It's it's different times. I just feel like I get a better application if I don't want that much. And I want to make sure that I use less so my foundation can go a little bit longer. That's what I do. That's what I do. Ooh. Yep, get all that off of there. And blend. Okay. 
okay. Now, after I get all blended, then now I'm going to get, this is a eyebrow spoolie, a eyebrow spoolie from is it the hand the, the writing is off of it but it's it's by elf it's 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 a spoolie for the eyebrows and i also use it to put my lash on i use that in that tip okay so i what i do is i like to brush i i think you should train your eyebrows brush them up i, I do this every day and get your eyebrows trained so when you get your arches they look real nice See that? Okie doke. So we got that together. And then, what did I do with my, um, okay, so I got a, I got to sharpen my pencil, y'all. Mm -hmm. My pencil needs to be sharpened, so let me sharpen it real quick. What we're going to do is we're going to shade in the eyebrows with a black. This is, yep, y'all guessed it, LA Colors, LA Colors Eyeliner and Brow Pencil, okay? LA Colors Eyebrow, Eyeliner and Brow Pencil. So what I do is I just shade in. Okay, so sometimes if I make a mess, I just get a little bit of tissue and you can get foundation or you can get a little tissue and just get right there in the arch. Uh -huh. Okay, and then... Um, And I'm gonna go back and get the and I'm gonna get my spoolie again and I'm sort so the eyeliner can spread out across my eyebrows. How about that? So you know you don't get that, you know how some people draw it on, they get that drawed on look, and we don't want that. We wanna we wanna spread it out so it'll look natural. <laughs> Okay. Okay, and then so now what I want to do is now I don't I don't have a special order that I put my makeup on just so y'all know like everybody's like what what goes on first? Okay, definitely the foundation going to go on first, but after that I don't know what I might do. 
It, sometimes I'll do it in order, other times I won't. Now, I like to get my eyebrows because you know when you put your eyelashes on, you want to get your eyebrows, your eyelashes all bent up. And But before this, I forgot my spoolie. Get your lashes and go up. Do the little shaky motion going up. Okay. And you can do this with some mascara too. And then do it on the bottom. This is to help the lash flare out. And then we're going to get the lash curler. And we're going to curl the lash. We're getting the lash, the, the natural lash ready for the fake nail. I mean, fake nail. Fake lash adhesion. So you want to give it that, you know, give it that little circle. That little half circle. So it'll wing up with the other um, fake lash that you're going to attach to your natural lash. Okay. And I go right back over with the brush just to make sure they're not all crunchy. Okay. So now... We're going to do the eyeshadow. Oh, you know what? Before that, let me do let me do the um chisel. Y'all see that? That's the natural chisel, but I'm gonna do one for y'all. I'm gonna do a makeup chisel. I'm gonna do a chisel for y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Let's do the chisel. <laughs> Remember how I told y'all to do the chisel look? Well, actually, let me take let me take that off. Let me get that off right there. Do okay. See that? Okay. So we're gonna. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's see. We can brush that in. Boom. Remember, I told you, suck in your cheeks for the chisel look. Do a little shimmer now because I like that shimmer we had last time. This is the LA Colors, um, LA Colors Show Show It Off Blush and Highlight. There's the highlighter that I'm going to use there. <laughs>
you go, y'all see that gold look? That um, I call it gold member look. <laughs> Everybody wearing the um, highlights. Okay. Okay, so we got the highlighter going on. Y'all see it? You can definitely see it there. You can see the, the highlight on top. Here, here, and then you can see the one that's brown right up under there, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna brush that out. I'm gonna okay, so then, um, and I'm moving rather fast, you guys, so don't, don't worry about it, like I'm just. You know, trying to get through the video because I feel like when I do these videos that they seem like a lot, but we're going to make it work. So I have two LA color palettes. I got some makeup on that, y'all, but I'm gonna use the highlight right there. That's the one I'm gonna use on my eyes. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so remember what I told y'all. Okay, we starting in the top. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Wait a minute. Y'all, it feel funny with me looking to, into the camera, putting on my makeup. So just bear with me. Bear with me. I'm trying to look into the camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right. Okay, so what I normally do is um, I just blend it with my fingers. Just kind of tone it down because it's awfully bright. And this top of my eye, people always tell me I look like I got makeup on when I don't even have it on because my highlight is so bright on my eyes naturally. It looks like I have on like tan makeup all the time. People tell me that all the time. It looks like I got makeup on all the time, but it's just my eyes. Um, okay, so I don't have a primer, but I have a real neutral color that I like to use and it pulls out all the colors on my eye and I've been using it it's an eyeshadow it's not even really a primer but if you're a real makeup person you know stuff like this people are like how you know how to put that shade on to bring your colors out I just I don't know I just know and I um so I just put this this is like a if you can see it, it's kind of like, this is the shade here. Hold up. I done ran out, but I'm scraping. But, see right here? It's like a real, um, like a real light color nude. And it's going to lift the colors. Watch. It's going to really make the colors pop on my eyes. So, that's why I like to... I like to use it. So this is like an earth tone tutorial. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to blend this out. 
with my brush blend it out boom and boom and boom okay so after that so we're gonna go ahead on and go with the color start putting on our colors and I think I definitely want to use this shade here this looks like a A goldy color right here, so I'm gonna use this color if y'all can. Wait a minute, hold up. Yeah, that was my brush, y'all. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I'm going to cover the eye with this one. I'm just gonna do the lids. Okay, so we got that color on, and then so we're going to do, let me get a little tissue, and then, um, do I want to do some sharper lots? Do I want to do some sharper lots? Sharp, lots. So let me, I'm going to go back and I'm going to reapply this because I want to pad this. I want to really pad it so I can make it heavy. When you want to make the heavily pigment colors more pigmented, you just dig in the palette and pat instead of rub. Put First, do your rubbing applica application and then go back and put more color, apply more color, but don't rub it, just pat. Just pat. Okay. Now... So since I did that, I need to, um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a brush out. Okay. So then we don't want to brush it too much. Remember, we want to keep it heavily pigmented. And I'm going to do, let's see, I think I'm going to do this little coppery color back here. I'm going to try something different. Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. Okay, so we're going to 
apply this color Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go back and um because I want this pigment to show up, I'm going to go back and pat this one. These colors um Okay, now, so let me do a little brush off. You guys can see the color, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and pat the lighter shade. That's how you have to do sometimes. This is, I don't know what kind of, um, I think that's why I don't use it that much, but I'm going to go back and pat this color in. Okay. Okay. We're going to brush this in. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to just lightly do this with my finger, okay, let me see, now it's dark, can y'all see it? Let's see, can y'all see now? <laughs> I'm trying to, um, it's like a goldy and, the, and it's a smoky coppery eye. So, um, it's gold on the inside, like a light gold and it's like a coppery color here around the eye. It actually matches kind of like the highlight. So it's, it might look iridescent on the channel. Um, uh, okay. I think that's it. And so now... I'm going to 
line my eyes and I think I'm gonna start putting the lashes on we got the chisel look oh and I can do the goldie look but I'm gonna do that after that's gonna be the last thing I do the um cupid's bow and all that stuff so you want to line up under your membrane like right there where your skin at don't get right too much in that part of the eye because it's gonna irritate your eye um, you know, because sometimes you have makeup coming off the top of your lid, so you got to be careful. Be very careful. Okay, so now we're going to do, um, we're going to put them lashes on, girl. So let me do a little bit of a brush. Okay. We're going to do the lash. Let me get my little arm. Um, You know what, second thought, I'm going to go ahead on and do the Cupid's bow because I just want to get it over with. And uh, let me see. Okay, we're using the... Um, this one right here. That one. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get it right, y'all. I'm learning. So you put a little, just put a little highlight right there on your cupid's bow. This is the cupid's bow. The dip right here over your, in, right there on your lip, that's the cupid's bow right here. So just put a little dust on it. Dust it off a little bit. Dust off that cupid's bow, girl. Okay. And then do a little bit on the nose. Now, this is going to, remember I told y'all, and some people don't even do the chisel look. I'm going to go back and do it, but sometimes when you put this highlighter on your on the center of your nose, on the ball of your nose and right down the middle, it's going to automatically give you that slender look. So, but I'm going to do it anyway for the sake of video. I'm going to do it for the sake of video. Okay. Okay. So we 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 went down the T bone. Ball of the nose, Cupid's bow, and right here under the chin. And so then we're done with that, and we're just gonna we're gonna brush it out. Brush, 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 brush it out. Brush it out. Okay, um, then so let's do the chisel because y'all know I love my chisel look. Okay, remember we started the top. Wait a minute, what I said we start right here, start right there, and go down. Boom. You want to see if you can hit both of these little parts right here, your nose. Go. Bring it all the way down here, 
and bring it all the way down here that's gonna give that chisel look and you already got the gold dust um the highlight powder on your nose so that's gonna give the illusion of a chisel nose that gives you the illusion of the chisel nose come on somebody uh key duck okay Now, you can, a lot of people make this real dark, but you don't need to do it. You can make a, I'm going to get a brush, and I'm going to brush it out. So, it'll still, it's going to leave a line, but it's going to be, it's not, it's going to be like what I call a transparent line. It's not going to be like, boom, you know, looking like I, I'm getting surgery on my nose. And it's hard for me to stick in the lines, you know what I'm saying? Makeup is like artwork. You want to, you want to, it, it's, it's artwork and it's fashion. So the chisel look, you know what I'm saying? The chisel look, you don't have to wear. I'm going to just tell you, I don't wear the chisel look all the time because I love how my nose is. I like the size of my nose. I'm not trying to make it slender. I think it's slender enough. Um, but some people may not like their nose. So if you don't like it, you can do this. is a, a short, this is a quick um, surgery less tip. You don't need no surgery. You can make your nose smaller with just makeup. You can do that with your lips. You can do it with your eyes. You can do it with a lot of stuff. So, but um, that's another video. Um, but I like the shape. I like my features. But it's when I'm contouring and doing the chisel look, it's for video, but it's also for the dramatics of the makeup and the art. For me. Um. It's, it's for the dramatic effect for me and the art of it. I don't, you know, I don't, I feel like anything you need to contour sometimes. Contour is not about what you hate. It's about, you know, the art of it. You want to have the elongated effect, the elongated look, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But it's not mandatory. You don't have to, you know, there are no rules in makeup. There are some, but there are not. Let me just say there are rules, but rules are made to be broken. I, I break them all the time. I think when you put your own spin on your makeup, you start to do what you like. Um, it's not about what anybody quote unquote says is the way to do it. I don't think it's no way. Um, so... You know, sometimes people tell you, no, that's the wrong way. I mean, okay, I think about right and wrong way when I'm doing, when I'm going on, you know, if I was to, if I was to be going on a job interview or something like that. But you don't need to worry about what's right. If you're just wearing it for fashion and wearing it to express yourself, you can do how you want to do. Now, I ain't going to say it's going to, it may look, it may not look good. I mean, it's up to you. I seen people wear red eyeshadow and red lipstick or blue eyeshadow and red lipstick now me i don't know if i would do that unless you know i'm just i don't know i don't know why i would do it but <laughs> i don't think that's something i would want to do but i mean people do people do what they want and people are very open-minded these days so i'm i don't want to say what you can't do but you're not supposed to have two major players you know in your in the makeup it always needs to be one player. It doesn't need to be all the whole face, um, you know, playing. You know, you you can't you can't play up all the features. You gotta leave something, you know, leave something undone. It's I mean not undone, but just have one you know it's just like somebody that wear a whole bunch of jewelry you got a nice outfit you got a whole bunch of jewelry on your neck and a whole bunch of jewelry on your arm i mean you don't want to overcrowd the outfit i mean you can do what you want to do but if you're going somewhere you need i feel like you need to know how to look appropriate and then you need to just be able to express yourself and i feel like there's there's a way to, 
there are ways to do to be appropriate and there are ways to express yourself if you go into a parade then by all means do your colors do whatever you want to do i mean if it's just about the art of it but if you're going on a job interview or if you're going somewhere where your makeup is going to be judged on a professional level you need to have your makeup together not no blue eyelash, I mean blue eyeshadow and no red lipstick. You can do that outside of work or outside of, you know, the professional place. If you're going to make some business deals, I expect that you would um, do something that would be uh, very appealing Do something that will be very appealing to, you know, where you're going, the appropriateness, you know, of, of where you're going and what you're doing. Um, give me a second. So, um, hold on for just a second. <sighs> um, so anyway, y'all, oh Lord. Y'all, my daughter's here. Just got to tell you that. Um, wait a minute. Okay, so, okay, so back to what I was saying. Yeah, so you want you want to make sure that, you know, wherever you're going, it's appropriate. Um, and hold on for a second. So you want to make sure that, you know, when you're going somewhere, you're looking appropriate, you know, when you need to. Now, if you just going to a cookout and you feel like exploring colors, and I'm going to tell you, that's when I did colors. I made sure that when, you know, I look professional, you know, for a job, for, you know, business deal or business meeting or business lunch. But if I want to express myself, I do that like... If you're just going out with the girls and you want to try a new color and you just want to get a little free and open and just try some stuff, that's a good time to try it when it's not a place you got to be. But I feel like if you have to be at a ball or a gala or something, I feel like you need to have it. That's not no time to experiment. I think you need to experiment, um, you know, when you don't when you don't have a place that you need to report or be. You know what I'm saying? Even at home, you can experiment on your eyes and see what colors you like and what colors, you know, you think going to work for you, you know? I do like this color. It just seems like it's showing up light. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I do like this color. Just It just seems like it's showing up light, but can y'all see it? See that? Yes. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let me get... And so when you put the glue, remember when you put the glue on the lash, um, when you're putting the glue here on the lash, um, wait a minute. Remember when you're putting the glue on the lash, you put it on like that and you let it get tacky. Let it get semi-dry, not all the way dry, so when I put it on, it'll just, you know, just suck to my eye. It'll just jump to my eye, you know, without a problem. It'll, it'll I ain't going to say without a problem because I almost have a problem all the time, but not too much. But um, it'll adhere to your eye faster, let me just say that, in the way it needs to. Okay, 
this one get right here. And you want to line it up with your lash. Don't be having the lash past your lash. Like if your lashes start in the corner of your eyes, then you need to have that bad boy right over your own lash line. Okay, and then after you get the lashes on perfectly, you're going to press the natural lash into the fake lash. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's just to make sure they secure. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but sometimes that's what I do. Okay, and where's my eyelash curler? And this is my eyelash curler. Oh, let me see. Okay. Now these these lashes done got old, so they they looking like they don't want to do what I want them to do, but they'll be all right. Let me get some more glue on this end lash. I want to do that. Let's Okay, so now we're getting ready to apply the um, the eyeshadow. I mean, not the eyeshadow. Jesus Lord, we already did that. We're getting ready to do the um, the um. Give me a second, y'all. One second. Okay, we're getting ready to apply the um. My wings. I can't even. I'm, I can't even say it, y'all. I'm just not too long ago getting off of work, so I can't. Even, you know, it's hard to talk in the evening. Get off of work, you're just like coming home to do a video. I love y'all, Trinsel. <laughs> know that I love y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to look in the mirror and look at the video, look at the video at the same time. Okay, dope. Okay. So y'all see my little wing tips. And what I did, let me just go through and show you, like, um, you can either start from, ooh, you can either start from, I'm on the wrong eye, you can either start from, yeah, I'm 
y'all. You can either start from here and just go like this and do that. Whoop. Or you can start from here and go, mm, mm. And sometimes I do that. It just depends. Um, it's hard for me to look at the video and do it because I'm trying to look in the mirror so I can make sure I'm doing it right. But you can do this from any angle. You can, um, ooh. You can, you see where I started right there and just bring the stick on over there right there like that. I'm going to get better when I get really, <laughs> when I get better at this, y'all going to really appreciate that. I mean, I'm talking about on the video, like it's just hard to do it on the video. It's real hard because, you know, you got to. You, it's not. It's like a mirror, but it's it's not. It's it's a little more difficult than that. But yep. So y'all look at y'all look at the eyes. This is my golden sand beaches. I don't know. Look, I don't know. It's the nudie, goldy kind of look. Gold member. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Now, you can leave a nude lip gloss like I got here. Now, that's a perfect, you know, nice look. But remember I told you you had to have a star player. So, I'm going to play up my lips so you can get the star player. And I think I'm going to do something extra. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. So, here's the um, Beyonce. It's been in my makeup bag, so y'all excuse me. But this is my Beyonce um, Infallible Lipstick by Revlon. Yes, I got it, honey. I had to get that red. It, when I saw it, I knew that I wanted it. It was $11.50, but I had to have it. Because, of course, it was Beyonce. It was going to be the right red. I knew that. And my lips still got a little um, gloss, a little bit of gloss on it, so it's conditioned. <coughs> my lips are not um, dry. <coughs> now, you can line your lips with red. Again, I've lined my lips for the art of it because I want to make some kind of gloss or whatever. But you line your lips to make your lips smaller. I love my lips. But I, I will use a, um, a red liner. And y'all, I got some blue, um, a blue eyeliner stick. That I probably should have used with my ocean blue eyes. But it's all good. Now y'all should be able to see this gold a little bit better with that lipstick on. That red bringing out that color. So, if ladies, if you're doing... Um, if you're doing date night, then this is this is great. You got that that red lip. Look at that red. Beyonce infallible Revlon. Okay, so let me take my let me take my my hair down, honey. Oh God, where am I going tonight, y'all? Guys, look at that. Looky, looky. Hey, y'all. 
Well, um, this is my Goldie Sands looking tutorial. Remember, I told you again, you have this is the star player. We play down the eyes so we could let the lips do the talking. Hello. There are times you can you can be so bold as to play up both of them, but they should look good and you can do it in a tasteful way and do it away from an event that you have to be. If you're going to meet people, be be on your best. Look, you know, do your chiseled look, look good, you know, because you 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 a business person, you know what I'm saying? But if you're going to a cookout by all means, you know, Take a risk, live a little, and open yourself up to colors and try stuff. And people be like, girl, what you got on? I went to cookouts, and that was my first time trying to color. And people, I got a lot of compliments on it. But I'm just saying, like, when you're trying to go somewhere, that's not a good time to try out colors when you go in certain places. Like, if you're just going to the grocery store, you ain't going nowhere, you just want to try something, perfect. But when you're going, like, to work or maybe, maybe to church and you're, you know, doing something in a church, you're on a committee, and you have to be in front of people and be on program, you may not want to wear that, um, you know, wear that crazy, wild, you know, open colors, you might want to be, you know, classy, and you, you know when those appropriate places are, but that's enough of me talking trendset again, thank you for watching my um, makeup tutorial, um, I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial, I'm doing the best I can, um, give me some suggestions um, if you have any. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to click that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Okay, trend set again. And don't forget to share this video with anyone and everyone that you know about your girls, trendsetter, lifestyle trendsetters. That's us. See you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm, I love you. Look at my nails, y'all. They're still on. Yay! Bye!